Skydiving Acceleration Calculations by kscience.com. This person is currently sat on the plane waiting to jump out of it. And because they are stationary on the moving plane, their acceleration is currently 0 meters per second squared. So when they jump out of the plane, their initial velocity is 0 meters per second. And after 1 second, they have increased their velocity to 9.8 meters per second. So they have accelerated. And then they fall for another 6 seconds. During this 6 seconds, they increase their velocity from 9.8 meters per second to a final velocity of 50 meters per second. During this 6 seconds, they increase their velocity from 9.8 meters per second to a final velocity of 50 meters per second. And then after some time of skydiving, when it gets to the right point, they're going to pull their parachute open. At this point, they're going to decelerate. So they're going to decrease their velocity from 50 meters per second to 6 meters per second. So their initial velocity is 50 meters per second, and they decrease to their final velocity of 6 meters per second. And it takes them 4 seconds to decelerate. And just before they land, they're moving with an initial velocity of 6 meters per second. And they decrease their velocity to a final velocity of 0 meters per second when they hit the ground. And it takes them 0 0.2 seconds to decelerate from 6 meters per second to 0 meters per second. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. This is the problem you will learn how to solve. Press pause to attempt it. The method and the answer will follow. So you needed to calculate the acceleration of the skydiver at points A, B, C and D of their skydive. So to calculate the acceleration, you recall A equals V minus U over T. During A, they're sitting on the plane, so they have an initial velocity of 0 meters per second. And they increase their velocity to a final velocity of 9.8 meters per second. And it takes them one second to do this. So to calculate the acceleration, you recall A equals V minus U over T. V is the final velocity, 9.8 meters per second, minus the initial velocity, 0 meters per second, divided by one second. So the acceleration at this point is 9.8 meters per second squared. So at point B, their old final velocity, which we calculated, is now their initial velocity. So that's U. And their final velocity is 50 meters per second. And the time it took them to accelerate from 9.8 meters per second to 50 meters per second is 6 seconds. So you recall, A equals V minus U over T. The final velocity is 50 meters per second minus the initial velocity, which is 9.8 meters per second, divided by the time it took them, which is 6 seconds. This gives you an acceleration for this part of their skydive of 6.7 meters per second squared. Drawing C, they pull their parachute open and decelerate very quickly. The skydiver goes from having an initial velocity of 50 meters per second to a final velocity of 6 meters per second. So you do the final velocity, 6 meters per second, take away 50 meters per second, divided by 4 seconds. That gives you a deceleration of minus 11 meters per second squared. So in the final example where they land, their initial velocity is now 6 meters per second and their final velocity is 0 meters per second. So you recall A equals V minus U over T. V, the final velocity is 0 meters per second minus their initial velocity of 6 meters per second divided by the time it took them to decelerate, which is 0 0.2 seconds. This gives them a deceleration of minus 30 meters per second squared. Press pause to practice using those key words. The answers will follow. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. And if you're stuck, just rewatch the video.
press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Visit kscience.com for more free videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com and don't forget to like and subscribe.